everyone. Welcome to my channel, Sanna Man's Biology. So in this video, let us discuss about introduction to the classification. So let us start. So what is the necessity for classification? In a pile of books, if we see, if we have to identify a particular book, when it is not classified, it is very difficult. When you go to a library, if a teacher asks, take out a particular book from so many books when they are not grouped or when they are not classified, it is very difficult for us to take out the book belonging to a particular subject when it is not in an order or it, when it is not classified. Similar is in the case of organisms present in the world. So there is a definite necessity for the classification for easy identification and study of that organism. So earlier, there is a two kingdom classification which was proposed. So it was proposed by Aristotle. And according to the Aristotle, he divided the plants into herbs, shrubs, and the trees based on the morphological characters. So herbs are the very small plants and the shrubs are the medium plants and the trees are the big plants. So based on the morphological characters, based on the uh, their morphological characters and the size, Aristotle has classified the plants into herbs, shrubs, and the trees. So in the case of the animals, Aristotle has classified even the animals into enema and anema. So enema, so based on the presence of the blood, so based on the presence of the RBC, he classified the organisms which are having the RBC into enema, whereas when the RBC is not present or when the blood is not in red in color, then he classified those organisms as anema. And this two kingdom classification is also proposed by Linnaeus. According to him, all the living organisms are grouped into kingdom plants, that is kingdom plantae, as well as kingdom animalia. So kingdom plantae included all the plants, whereas kingdom animalia included all the animals. And uh, in the two kingdom classification, there are some drawbacks. If we see the animals, uh, these prokaryotes as well as eukaryotes are not distinguished. Even in the case of the animals, all the other animals, even though see, there are some organisms uh, where the nuclear membrane is not clearly present or it is absent. So those organisms are classified as prokaryotes, whereas there are some organisms where we can definitely see the nuclear membrane, which we are calling now as eukaryotes. But this is not um, fully, um, uh, fully explained in the two kingdom classification. And even the unicellular and multicellular organisms are not also clearly distinguished. So these are some of the drawbacks of the two kingdom classification. There are uh, another some drawbacks of the uh, two kingdom classification that is photosynthetic and non-photosynthetic organisms are also not clearly distinguished, even though all are belonging to the plantae. So uh, these organisms, some are having chlorophyll, which can uh, carry out photosynthesis, whereas some doesn't have chlorophyll, which cannot uh, carry out photosynthesis. So both these organisms are also not clearly distinguished. And even some organisms like viruses and microbes did not fall um, into the another kingdoms, even though uh, they are also animals. So these are not clearly distinguished. So now let us take a small concept test. So Aristotle classification of the animals was mainly based on Presence of RBC, presence of WBCs, presence of platelets, and none of the above. So students, look at the question carefully. So Aristotle classification of the animals was based on. Let us pause the video for two minutes. So see the options. Presence of WBCs, presence of RBCs, presence of platelets, and none of the above. Just in our previous uh, slides, we have discussed that Aristotle is a scientist who proposed the two kingdom classification based on the presence of RBCs. Those animals which are having RBCs and the blood is red in color are classified into E. Naima, whereas those organisms which doesn't have the RBCs and their uh, blood is not red in color, it is blue in color, or white in color are classified as anima. So the correct option is presence of WBCs. 
Hope you understood. So thank you. That's all for this video. So in my next video, I will explain you about the five kingdom classification belonging to this lesson. Hope you like this video. If you like, please give a like, share and subscribe my channel, Swarna Maps Biology. Thank you.